Greetings from the windy city of Chicago. Just finishing up my three city trip on behalf of the AGA and wanted to give a short update. A lot happened this week to be sure. Perhaps the biggest news of the whole trip was that I got to spend more than two hours with the leader of one of the largest, most prominent third party building consultants in the industry. And I got a chance to explain some of our concerns to him. He got a chance to explain some of his concerns to me. We now have a great channel of communication open there. He's listening, he's interested, and believe it or not, some of our interests are actually aligned. Restoration contractors are not the only ones who have challenges getting paid by insurance companies. Thank you very much to Barry Swidler for his hospitality while I was in Manhattan. I learned a lot about the challenges that contractors doing business there face and all of the costs. We want to make sure that the prices in the standardized pricing platforms reflect those costs. I was just reading in the Wall Street Journal that in the month of January there was a 3.1 percent wage increase in the U.S. and of course we hope that the standardized pricing platforms reflect the increased costs. I'm delighted to report to you that our discussions with ExactWare are moving forward. There's a preliminary framework to help address some of the concerns that we brought to ExactWare's attention, and they are actually making a real effort, demonstrating an effort to uh, respond to some of these concerns, and we're grateful to them for that. I then went on to Maxon's restoration, met with Jeff Gross, as well as Howard White, the president of Maxon's, and Kelly Dolan, who is the chief of staff at Maxon's. I captured some great video with them, explaining some of the challenges that they face and really helping to prove the need for the AGA. I went on to New Jersey after that to association headquarters to meet the whole staff of the new team that's now managing the RIA. For those of you who haven't heard, we've hired a new management company and they are excellent. They've got a big team working on social media. They've got a big team that will be working on the RIA website. They've got a lot of vibrant new ideas. They're totally thinking outside of the box. When you come to New Orleans for our annual convention, hopefully you'll have an opportunity to meet our excellent new CEO, Christy Cohen. She's at the helm now, and she really seems sensitive to what we're doing. I was pleased to have been invited to the Board of Directors strategic planning session that took place at Association Headquarters. I was delighted to hear that the Board of Directors is willing to throw the full weight of the RIA behind the AGA. They're excited about it. I think it's moving in a good direction. And what you're going to see in 2020 is the RIA really reinventing itself and coming up with a lot of new strategies and approaches that are very different from what you've seen in the past. Then I went on to Chicago and met here with Warner Cruz, saw his spectacular facility, JC Restoration, if you're ever in the area and have an opportunity to visit there, you'll be really glad that you did. I then had a chance to talk with Warner about what his subcommittee is doing. Warner runs our investment subcommittee and there are some fresh, bright new ideas uh, that he's putting together for how to increase the investments because for AGA to succeed it's going to take money and Warner's doing a great job at that and then from there I went to have a meeting with Dale Saylor, regional manager of Belfort here in Chicago along with his lovely wife Laura. Dale and I discussed the strategy for the preparation of RIA position papers and Dale is working <coughs> on the subcommittee dealing with third-party consultants. And we came up with some ideas on how to refine that a little bit. In that meeting, I came up with a very interesting idea for a new recruit to the AGA. I hope to have some good news about that coming up in the near future. So I'm very optimistic, very happy about the results of this week. It was a whirlwind trip around this part of the country. And please join us in New Orleans from April 14th to April 16th for the RIA annual convention and expo to get some big announcements about some developments with the AGA, and it'll be your opportunity to join the movement. Thank you, and I'll check back again soon.